Wow, I've I've never done like an interview where I've been asked about my beauty routine. <laughs> my name is Asad J Malik, and I'm from Pakistan, and I make holograms for a living. I developed pretty strong interests early on. I was making websites and programming when I was around 11. I started working with the HoloLens a couple years ago. I saw a demo of it somewhere and I thought it was really compelling. It's a really interesting opportunity at the least to start to build these new worlds and narratives in ways that are, you know, listening to more people's voices. I've gone through a lot of interrogations over my time just traveling internationally as someone from Pakistan. With Terminal 3, essentially, you as a viewer, you were the interrogator, and you would see a hologram that was, at the start, was just really abstracted, made up of lines and colors. And as you asked him more and more questions, it started to appear more and more realistic. So over the course of the experience, it becomes like representation of a human being. And at the end, then you're supposed to decide whether or not you're letting this person into the country. Jadu in Urdu means magic. With Jadu, you can essentially place your favorite artist in a space while they perform a small clip from their upcoming song, and you can actually get in the video and be performing with them. Looking at how audiences are engaging with work right now that their favorite artists make and kind of becoming a part of that story rather than just being a passive consumer of the content. Yeah, definitely my hair. <laughs> I like my hair. I had much longer hair than this for the last three or four years, and recently I got a haircut. I wasn't planning on going this short, but it happened. Oh god. Okay, yeah, is this, do you put this on your nails? Or do you draw with this? This is a really like one of the more pointy lipsticks I've seen. Is it a lipstick or am I totally off? Yeah, I have my face paint. <laughs> You guys need to like make, you know, some really edgy sci-fi kind of product. A misconception that people have that relates to Pakistan that I feel like I can change is Himalayan salt comes from Pakistan. I grew up in the town where it comes from. So there's a town called Kira where all the Himalayan salt rock comes from a mine in that town. It's called the Salt Range. And people often think it comes from India or the Himalayas. Both of those are not true. Um, Markhor is basically a massive goat. This is a really, really humongous goat that lives on the peak of these mountains. And I have this face tattoo over here, which is the spiral. Markhor is the national animal of Pakistan, and a spiral could be many things. Growing up in a place like Pakistan and watching Hollywood movies and Growing up with this, you know, perception of this life, this ideal life that white people live in another country, um, I feel like you develop like a certain sense of fascination with it. And there are not that many international brands still that are really trying to channel that kind of pride around being a person of color. Um, so I, I I do appreciate that sentiment. My name is Asajay Malik, and I live tinted. <laughs>